Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Welcome back. So today we are going to be honoring our Mother's Day by opening up our heart chakra, that emerald green light right at your heart center. But to do this class, this is honoring femininity, that soft, graceful, uh, empathetic, caring part of you. So you do not have to be female. You not, do not need to be a mother or have a mother to do this class. We are honoring the soft side of us. I hope you enjoy. So to start today, we are going to be starting in our child's pose. So taking a comfortable position on your mat, your knees can be wide or close together, it's completely up to you. You can have your toes curled under or uncurled, send your hips towards your heels. You can reach your arms long or stack one hand on top of another and place your forehead on your hands. I really want you to take a moment here to find your breath. And see if you can send your breath into the back side of your body. Quite often we forget we are three dimensional and we breathe into our chest and into our stomach, but we forget about the back side and the sides. So I really want you to feel the expansion that happens with every breath in and feel the contraction that happens with your breath out. Everything grounding, coming back to center. I want you to feel all parts of your body that are connected to the mat and are connected to the floor below your mat. Feel supported. Feel grounded. Reach your arms nice and long once again if you had them underneath of your head. Slowly start to roll up into all fours. So you'll slide your hands underneath of your shoulders and bring your knees directly underneath of your hips. A cat cow here, inhale in this neutral curve, exhale, curl the tailbone, scoop the belly, your chin can relax down. Inhale, open back up into a neutral curve. Exhale, curl and round, and I want you to hold in your next rounding sensation. Take an extra inhale and exhale here. Inhale, open back up into that neutral curve. Uncurl your toes, send your hips towards your heels, child's pose, reach your arms nice and long. We're going to work with our breath like the weave of an ocean. As you inhale, roll in your spine up, hands come underneath of your shoulders, then open back up into a neutral curve. Exhale, curl the tailbone, scoop the belly, hips to heels, stretch your arms long. Rolling up once again. Your spine is like a wave. And then roll back, curling the belly up towards the ceiling as you send the hips back. Two more times here, rolling back up. And rolling back. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Hold back in your child's pose. Again, knees can be wide or close together. Reach your arms long. And really try to, try to just let your chest sink down towards the ground. That heart center, that heart chakra, Anahata chakra, is an emerald green light. And I want you to visualize just a spark of that emerald green light at your heart center. And then breathe into that spark. Spread the fingers nice and wide, curl your toes under, let's lift back up into our downward dog for the first time today. Bend one knee at a time, gently shake it out, opening up your hips and your hamstrings. See if you can engage the abdominals nice and tight here. Now, if your wrists ever bother you, I really want you to focus on pushing through those fingers and lifting your palms up towards your shoulders and engaging the shoulders, plugging the arm bones into the shoulder joints. Walk your feet towards your hands, coming into your first forward fold of the day, so keep those knees nice and soft, head and neck can relax down. Bring your chin from side to side. As you inhale, let's roll up. Draw the navel in, and I really want you to feel that articulation in the spine. And your shoulders come back and down. Slide your left foot back one leg distance. So here I want you to check in with your feet. So your heels are in one line with one another. Back heel is slightly closer to the back edge of the mat. Front foot is facing forward. Bring your left hand to the back of your left thigh. Your right hand comes up. Palm 
faces the back of the mat. Push down through both feet, engage the legs so your kneecaps are reaching towards your hips, and lift up through your heart. So this is our crescent moon, and our moon is symbolic of femininity. I want you to feel the softness in your breath right now. Bring your hands up both to the corners of the room. Bring your feet to a 45 degree angle to your five pointed star. And I want you to shine from that Anahata Chakra. So it's that spark of emerald green, green light. And I want you to see if you can make that spark a little bit bigger. Breathe in here. Relax both hands down. We're going to come into the crescent moon on the opposite side. So have your left foot parallel to the long edge of the mat now. And now your right heel is going to come slightly closer to the what was the front edge of your mat. Push down through both feet, engage the legs, and which will generally bring us out of our hips and into our heart. So we're not popping that booty back, we're bringing it up towards our heart. Bring your right hand to the back of your right hand thigh, left hand comes up, turn the palm to face the back of the mat. And again, I want you to feel the softness of your breath as you lift your heart up. Can you feel your breath entering and exiting? Just watch. Placing no judgment behind the pattern of your breath, I want just an acknowledgement. Inhale one more time. Exhale, bring both hands back down. Pivot your feet so that they're at a 45 degree angle. Once again, both hands come out towards the corners of the room, five pointed star. Again, I really want you to focus on pushing down through the feet so we can lift up from the quadriceps, out of those hips and into the heart. Plug your arms into the shoulder joints, reach out through your fingers actively. And again, that emerald green light becomes a little bit bigger. Bend both elbows, bend both knees here. Our goddess pose, the symbolic of being feminine. Bring your hands onto your hips, cat cow here in this wide legged squat. So we're keeping our knees exactly where they are. Then as you exhale, curl the tailbone, scoop the belly, chin relaxes down. Inhale, open back up into that neutral curve, trying not to arch in that low back. Exhale, curl and round. Two more here. Inhale, let's open back up. Exhale, let's round. Last time, inhale, open back up. Exhale, let's round. Inhale, open back up into that neutral. As you inhale, hands reach all the way up towards the sky, towards the corners of the room once again. As you inhale, sweep the hands up towards the corners of the room, five-pointed star once again. Straighten those legs. Push down through the feet, reach out through your fingertips. Again, open that Anahata Chakra. Inhale, hands reach up towards the sky, palms facing in. From here, relax the shoulders down because quite often we wear our shoulders as earrings. I want you to pivot your right foot so it faces the front of your mat. Then lift your left heel completely, which will square up your hips to face towards the front of your mat. Bend your front knee so it tracks over top of your ankle. Now here, we're engaging both legs. So we're feeling this strong yet graceful horse here in our horse pose. Opening up your heart from there, keeping your ribs down, but lift your heart up towards the skies above. Inhale here. As you exhale, fingertips come all the way down to the mat. Plant your hands, sit back into a plank. Nice deep breaths here, inhale, exhale. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, slight restriction in the throat. Now remember, your plank can look like any plank that you feel comfortable with. Hands, fists, forearms, your knees. But I do want you to honor the strength within your femininity. Inhale, and exhale last time. Inhale, exhale, knees relax down, press back into a child's pose, stretch it out. And just take a deep breath into the back side of your body. As you inhale, let's come back into your downward dog. Curl the toes under, lift your hips up towards the sky. 
Again, bend one knee at a time. We're going to come into our horse pose on the other side. So, so to do so, walk your feet towards your hands, forward fold. Then step your right foot back with your heel lifted completely. I want you to engage your abdominals and keep that left knee tracking over top of the ankle, not coming past the toes. Then sweep the hands up towards the sky. Once again, that horse pose, honoring that soft, graceful, beautiful horse. Keep your ribs down, but lift your heart up towards the sky. Are you relaxing your shoulders? We no longer need to wear the weight of our world on our shoulders. Let them relax down. Inhale one more time. Exhale, fingertips come forward. Plant your hands again. Let's come back into that plank. Hands, fists, forearms, your knees. One thing that I do want you to be cautious of is that your hands are not further past your shoulders. Make a straight line from your shoulders down to your wrists. That means that the weight is evenly distributed on three joints as opposed to just one. Nice deep breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Engage the core. Two more breaths. Last breath. Hips lift up towards the sky this time. Downward dog. Bending one knee at a time. Shake it out. Maybe your breath has increased. Maybe your heart rate has increased. Walk your feet towards your hands. Forward fold. Now I want you to hold in your forward fold. So this forward fold is going to be soft and gentle. Keep those knees nice and bent. Relax your head and neck down. Bring your chin from side to side. And I want you to see if you can feel your breath. Soften it. Inhale and exhale slower if you can. Inhale, rolling up. Draw the navel in as you do. Shoulders come back and down. Sweep the hands up towards the sky. Palms come together to touch. Bring your hands down through to heart center. Rock gently back and forth side to side on your feet. Hold in your mountain pose now. So root the four corners of both feet down into the ground. Engaging the legs, engage the glutes, lifting out of your hips into your heart, but keep the ribs down. Now I want you to see if with the thumbs resting on the crevice of your chest, you can feel your heartbeat. And while you feel your heartbeat with your thumbs, visualize that emerald green light again growing a little bit bigger. As you inhale, hands reach all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, gentle forward fold. Flat back as you inhale, so slide your hands up your shins until your shoulders come level with your hips. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands back to a plank. From your plank, lift your hips up towards the sky, downward dog. Right leg lifts only as high as it feels comfortable. As you exhale, right foot steps through as far as it's available. Exhale, next left foot comes to meet it. Inhale, sweep the hands up towards the sky, palms to touch, down through the heart center. As you inhale here, root your feet down, lift your hands up towards the sky, biceps hugging the ears. Root your feet down, lift your heart up, gently push the hips forward just ever so slightly. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, forward fold. Flat back, inhale, exhale, forward fold, plant your hands back to plank. From your plank, inhale, eyes of the elbows pointing towards the front of the mat so that when you lower down, your elbows tickle the ribs. Tops of the feet are glued onto the mat, inhale, let's lift your heart, only using your back muscles, trying not to push into your hands. Exhale, slowly lower down. Slide your fingertips back an inch or so. Curl the toes under. Let's push back into a down dog. Left leg floats up. Step it forward. Exhale. 
Inhale here. Exhale, right foot comes to meet it. Inhale, sweeping up, gathering the energy from the world and bringing it to your heart center. Now I know you're all supporting one another. Inhale, pushing down through your feet, lift up through your hands, slight hip push forward as you lift the heart up towards the ceiling. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, release. Letting your head and neck hang heavy. Then as you inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Back to your plank. Strong plank here. So that means that you can release the knees down. I really want you to keep your hips in line with the spine as you slowly lower down through chaturanga. Tops of the feet are onto the mat. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, release back down. Stack one hand on top of another. Let your forehead rest on your hands. Bend your left knee. Now maybe staying here or your left hand can reach towards your left foot. See if you can grab a hold. Draw the thighs towards one another and gently press the hips down. We're just opening up those quadriceps. Nice deep breath here. Can you feel your heartbeat on the mat? Can you feel your breath on the mat? Signifies the importance of those heart and breath. So without slingshotting the left foot, slowly release. Let's come into the, come into the other side. Bend your right knee so the heel comes nice and close to your hip. Left hand is on underneath of your forehead. Now see if you can reach that right hand back to the right foot. Draw the thighs towards one another, gently pressing the hips forward. Notice which quadricep feels a little bit tighter. See if you can push those hip flexors into the mat just a little bit more. One more breath. And then as you exhale without slingshotting, slowly release. Both hands come underneath of the shoulders, elbows tucking in towards the ribs. As you inhale, let's lift back into that cobra, but this time we're going to hold for a couple of breaths. Keep your belly button up towards the spine so that you're really keeping your spine nice and safe. Try and think about lengthening as opposed to just lifting, and that's why we don't push our hands into the mat. I want you to just lift authentically. And while we lift authentically, see if you can feel that emerald green light growing and expanding past the limits of your skin. Exhale, slowly lower back down. Curl the toes under, press up into a downward dog. And let's bend one knee at a time. Because the best way to realign our spine after a heart opening is with a hip opening. So this just opens up and realigns. Now walk your feet towards your hands, gentle forward fold, and roll up. Shoulders come back and down. Now comes into the balancing portion. I want you to rock gently back and forth, side to side on your feet. Root your right foot down. So let's just take a moment here to visualize the four corners of your right foot rooting down into the mat and into the floor below. Slide your left toe back. Toe is on the mat, heel is lifted. Hands are strong beside both thighs. Now you can either stay here, this is a great balancing option, just by finding the strength in that right foot. If you would like more, let's bend the left knee, bring the left heel nice and close to your hip. See if you can reach that left foot with your left hand. Now if you can, I want you to draw those thighs together and then let's engage. So while you're pushing down through the four corners of the right foot, lift up from your kneecaps into the hips like we talked about before. Then we're going to lift up through our heart but keep our ribs down. Right hand sweeps up towards the sky. Now with that left hand, you can either grab the inner or outer edge of the foot. I prefer the inner edge, but everybody is different. Now I want you to combine that quadriceps stretch when we were lying down and the baby cobra for our nutter adjustment, dancing pose. So I want you to push your foot into your hand and your hand into your foot, opening up those hip flexors, imagining that the mat is below us. And then again, I want you to open up your heart like when we were in that baby cobra. So you're using your back muscles to lift your heart. 
The more you push the foot into the hand, the more you push the hand into the foot, the more you'll find that opening in your heart. Take a nice deep breath, knowing how open and expanded your heart is in this moment. Inhale, bring yourself back through the center. Now, if you fell out of it, that's okay. We just gently come back in without judgment. Without slingshotting that left foot, let's slowly release. Both hands come down. Rock gently back and forth, side to side of your feet. Maybe even look underneath of your mat. See if you have those toe grips on the four corners. If it, you do, that's a good sign that you're rooting down. Let's root that left foot down now. Again, just visualize and imagine the four corners rooting into the floor below your mat. Right toe slides back, toe is on the mat, heel is lifted. Both hands strong beside the thighs. Now again, I'm staying here, or bend your right knee so the right heel comes nice and close to your hip. Again, if you'd like more and it's available, right hand grabs that right foot. If you do have a hold of it, draw the thighs towards the midline, like you have a mermaid or a merman's tail and pushing those hip flexors gently forward. Again, either grabbing the inner edge or the outer edge of the foot. Left hand sweeps up. Find your engagement and push the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot. Visualize yourself in that baby cobra. Can you lift your heart? Again, the more you push the foot into the hand, the more you push the hand into the foot, the more of an opening you'll receive. Find something that works for you today. Find your breath. Feel that soft gracefulness of the dancer. Inhale, bring yourself back through the center. Without slingshotting that right foot, slowly release both hands up towards the sky. Exhale, release, forward fold. Flat back, inhale, feel those back muscles working for you. Exhale, release. Plant your hands back to down dog. Inhale and down dog. Exhale, knees relax down onto the mat. Cat cow here, inhale, neutral. Exhale, curl and scoop. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, open back up into that neutral curve. Walk your hands forward slightly. Shift your hips in line with the rest of the spine. So you're in a knee down plank. Hip circles here, so bring your hips over to the right, to the back, then to the left, then back through the center without exaggerating that lower uh, neutral curve. Let's go to the right again. And one more time. And then opposite way. So bring it over to the left and back to the right and center. See if you can flow with your breath here. And then when you're back through the center, walk your hands towards the thighs, curl the toes under, and bring your hips towards your heels. And then bring your hands onto your thighs and roll up into a kneeling position. So from here, I want you to have those toes curled under and you're in that upright kneeling position. Bring your hands to your hips and then lift your hips up. Now I want you to actively root down through your knees and your feet. Any discomfort in your knees, I want you to roll up the back of your mat. Hands are onto your hips, roll the chest open. Let's see if we can find that hip flexor opening once again. Lifting your heart up, place one hand at a time onto your low back. Draw the shoulder blades together and down. Nice deep breath here. Now, no collapsing in that low back. Remember, you were pushing those hip flexors forward slightly. If you would like more, one hand can find that heel. And if you would like more, the other hand can find the heel coming into your camel pose. So again, any discomfort in your spine, I want you to ease out, always listening to your body. But again, gently press those hip flexors forward, lift up through the heart, find your breath. Keeping that neck in a neutral position, trying not to drop the head behind you. We want our neck long, front and back, side to side. Feel that emerald green light expanding way past the limits of your skin and out and into the room. One hand at a time comes back to your hips. 
Realign yourself by widening your knees and sway your hips from side to side. Find your breath here. And then bring your hips down and find a comfortable seated position. So for me, that's going to be cross-legged today. I'm pulling out any fleshy bits that I have underneath of my sit bones, sitting nice and tall. Both hands reach up towards the sky, neck relaxes. Bring your right hand to the outer edge of the left thigh, left hand gently falls behind you. And here we're twisting out, we're detoxing. And I want you to imagine that it's like a dishcloth in the sink and you're wringing it out underneath the water. And the water is your breath cleansing your system. And sometimes in society there can be some negative connotations to being feminine, to being soft and gentle. And I want you to wring all of those out of your mind's eye right now and just embrace it. Being caring, kind, compassionate is a beautiful thing. As you inhale, let's reach the hands up towards the sky, realigning the spine. And then opposite direction, left hand to the outer edge of the right thigh, right hand gently falls behind. Your chin is parallel to the floor, and your chest is nice and open like you are proud and confident, which you should be for being soft, for being empathetic. for sharing your heart with others. These are all amazing qualities that you should be proud of. As you inhale, let's slowly untwist, bringing both hands onto the lap, roll the shoulders back and down. Bring your left hand beside you, right hand lifts up towards the sky, shoulders relax down, reaching the right hand up and over without collapsing the left wrist. Now I want you to pay attention to that right side there. And I want you to see if you can feel your breath into that side body. And remember, you are three-dimensional. So when I say you can feel that emerald green light shining from your heart, it's not just the front. I want it to shine through the sides and the back as well. As you inhale, left hand lifts up. Both hands are up towards the sky now. Shoulders are relaxed down. Right hand comes beside you. Left hand is going to reach up and over. Plug the arm into the shoulder socket. And again, feel that light shining through the side of your heart, out through your ribs, into the rest of the room. And if you have your eyes closed, maybe you can even visualize the room that you're in being filled with green light. As you inhale, bring yourself back through the center, relax that left hand. I want you to sweep your feet out in front of you. Hands come underneath of the shoulders as you lean gently back. So your fingers, I want you to make sure your fingers are pointing towards your toes, not towards the back of your mat. Spread those fingers nice and wide, just like you would in a regular plank. We're pushing through the fingers, being light through your palms. Point your toes here. Now while we're rooting down through the hips, can you lift your heart and draw those shoulder blades together and down? So this is going to find an engagement in your arms. Just make sure that you have no hyperextension in those elbows. 
Now, if you would like more, we're going to root down through the heels and through the fingertips, lift your hips for a reverse plank. Find your abdominals, find the back side of the body, find your core engaging, find your breath, inhale and exhale through the nose. And then the next exhale, slowly let your hips come back down. Bend the knees. And I want you to start to roll down onto your mat. Make sure you have enough room behind you so that you can completely lie down. Extend the legs out nice and long. Bring your hands beside you, palms facing down. And I want you to really root down in your forearms. So the upper arms, it's not going to matter quite as much. I want you to push down through the forearms and through the fingertips. We're going to be careful of our neck here, no compression. So we're not putting any weight on our head for this next pose. We're just letting it graze the back of the mat. So I want you to root down through the legs and the forearms, engage the legs a little bit. And then we're going to push into our elbows and to our hands. So the forearms are rooting down. And as you inhale, we're imagining a string attached to our heart, lifting up towards the sky. And again, like I said, the back of the head is just going to graze the mat. This is our fish pose. Are your legs engaged? Is your core engaged? Lift the heart, find your breath. Again, visualizing that light coming through your heart. And then as you inhale, next slowly lower back down. Bend the knees, placing your feet flat on the floor. Then allow the soles of the feet to come together to touch and your knees open out to the sides. Place one hand on your low belly, one hand on your heart, and close your eyes. And again, I want you to just take this moment to feel your heartbeat and feel your breath. Not only are they vital, but I want you to acknowledge the importance behind them to be caring and kind and loving. I want you to know that you are loved. You are so valued. Slowly bringing your hands beside your thighs once again and use your hands to gently guide your thighs back towards one another. Extend your legs nice and long and bring your hands beside you, palms facing up. And again, allow your eyes to close. And while we did that meditation together, where we felt our heartbeat, we felt our breath, we expanded our love into the room and into our communities. So while we lie here with our palms facing up in our receiving mudra, I want you to feel the love from your community. And again, feel how valued you are as a part of our community. Breathe in. 
and breathe out. Breathe in a little bit deeper and breathe out. Breathe in through the nose. And as you breathe out, breathe out through your mouth, letting go of any negative energy that you still have remaining in your body. Knowing that you're so filled with love now, you no longer need that negative energy. One more time, breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. And find a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart center. And again, I just want to thank you for your kindness, your compassion. Because this is why and this is how we become a society, we become a community that we share with one another. We have love for one another. Thank you so much for joining me in your practice today. Namaste.